Hi everyone, welcome to another welcome to another AP Statistics video. Today we're going to be talking about geometric distributions, which are slightly different from binomial distributions. If you haven't watched the video on binomial distributions, it's probably a good idea to go watch it. But hey, if you're already prepared, let's jump straight into it, shall we? Anyway, so there's there are some similarities with previous distributions we've discussed. There are two mutually exclusive outcomes, which means, you know, it's either a yes or a no, a positive or a negative, a success or a failure. There's no middle ground in the outcome. If one occurs, the other cannot. Each trial is independent of the others, which means that, let's say, you do six trials, and on the sixth trial, you get a certain result. Well, the outcome of the seventh trial has nothing is not affected by what you got on any of the previous trials. And the probability of success remains constant for each trial. Think of this as when you are flipping a coin, the probability of getting heads or tails is always 0.5, no matter whether it is your first or 100th trial. The probability of getting heads or the probability of getting tails is always 0.5. The difference is, is that for a geometric distribution, the random variable x, or your probability in this case, is the or sorry, the random variable x is the number of trials until the first success occurs. Now this is very important, until the first success occurs. In a binomial distribution, we are usually determining the number of successes, or how likely it is we would get some number of successes in a certain number of trials. Here we're determining how likely it is that we will get a success by performing a certain number of trials. The difference between binomial and geometric properties is that there is not a fixed number of trials in geometric distributions. Very important. There is no fixed number of trials in geometric distribution. Not a fixed number. So keep that in mind. This is the formula for determining the probability of a geometric distribution. Where your p right here is the probability of success, and this x right here is your desired trial success. Like, let's say you have, you want six trials before you have a success, well your x would be six. So let's try a practice example. A real estate agent shows a house to prospective buyers. Probability that the house will be sold to the person is 35%. What is the probability that the agent will sell the house to the third person she shows it to? Well, looking at this problem, we see there's no number of trials but that there is a constant probability of success, 0.35, and that there is a number of trials in which she wants to sell the house to buy, or there's a desired, trial, it's a desired number of trials to reach success, 3, right? And so let's try plugging this in, Well, our, to find the probability that the third person she shows it to will buy the house. Well, our P, right, that's going to be 0.35, and we're going to do 1 minus p, which is 0.65 times our desired trial success minus 1, which is going to be 3 minus 1, which is 2. And what does that get us? Well, that gets us 0.1479, and I wrote it down there nicely as well. This is the calculator version of doing it, but in the event you don't have a calculator, you can always use the geometric formula, which is used and provided to you on the AP Statistics exam. With that, you know, that's the bulk of geometric distributions. You know, go look. If you have any questions or would like to know more, please let me know, and I can hook you up. Thank you very much. I hope you learned a lot.